it's my experience that there's probably close to maybe one in 190, one in, one in 200 that probably have the ability to the, the same degree that I have. A former Army officer, Joe McMonagle, was part of a top secret research program run by the Defense Intelligence Agency and CIA for over 20 years. Only recently declassified, the Stargate Project examined a variety of phenomena, especially one known as remote viewing. Remote viewing means the ability to remotely perceive information about a person, place, event, object that you have absolutely no access to through any other means except via the mind. Beginning in the 1950s, the United States government explored the use of extrasensory perception for intelligence operations. The National Security Council wanted to know more about what was happening inside a huge new building in the north of the Soviet Union at Severodvinsk, a port on the White Sea. I was asked to describe what was going on under the roof of this building. <clears throat> and the image I had was of two very large cylinders being welded together. I saw canted missile tubes. I saw a unique drive system. And all of this was taking place next to a standard sized submarine, which I found to be dwarfed next to the size of this one that was under construction. It was absolutely huge. The size, I guess, is being almost twice the size of a standard submarine. He says he's the one who figured out that the building was, in fact, a submarine factory, even if it was half a mile from the sea with no waterway. The first precognitive remote viewing that I did, I did after I got angry, I, actually. There was an admiral in the National Security Council who brought my remote viewing back to me and said that they basically did not believe that there was a submarine being built in a building in Severodvinsk, Russia. It made me very angry. They said they didn't believe it because the building was a thousand meters from the sea. About a hundred days later, big bulldozers showed up and started cutting a canal to the sea and they launched the largest submarine in the world, which was the Typhoon-class submarine. They call it the beaver tail because it's so huge and wide in the rear. I actually was awarded a Legion of Merit, one of the highest peacetime awards that can be given in the military. And I received the Legion of Merit predominantly for my remote viewing. And this is what the Legion of Merit looks like. 